On January 26, Cardinal Javier Lozano Barragan turns 80. At the Vatican, the charismatic prelate is the main representative of the Catholic Church in Mexico. Over the years, he's developed a reputation for being open and available to the media. <laughs> When he was a bishop in Zacatecas, he says he witnessed a miracle. He says John Paul II probably played a role in the cure of a young boy who had leukemia. He looked like a little skeleton. He was only skin and bones. His cheek was visibly affected from the disease. He was there with his mother, and I was there as well. When the Pope's plane landed in Zacatecas, John Paul II saw the boy, grabbed him, and kissed him. After that kiss, eventually the boy was cured. In 1997, the Pope called on him to lead the Vatican's department that's responsible for the pastoral care of the sick. I really don't know how that happened, but he appointed me as a new president of this ministry or health department. I was surprised because at that point, I had mostly focused on theology, culture, catechesis, and political dialogue in Latin America. Under his new role, he launched the Good Samaritan Foundation, which buys medication to care for AIDS patients in poor countries. Part of his responsibility was to make sure donations were used precisely for that purpose. We promote the foundation by saying, please help these AIDS patients. So donors send us money and we make sure we buy enough medicine for these patients. Right now, the number of people who die from AIDS on a daily basis is about 8,000. No one helps them. Then, back in March of 2012, he accompanied Benedict XVI when he visited Mexico and Cuba. Here in Rome, things are not that different. He's often seen on the front row, smiling during papal ceremonies. At the age of 80, cardinals lose the right to vote in an eventual conclave. So after his birthday, the number of cardinal electors will stand at 118.